Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Andesite Blue webinar. Andesite Blue is a United Kingdom company that is going to be helping to rebuild Ukraine. Uh, my name is Benjamin Z. Meller. I'm the co-founder of Andesite Blue. And in this presentation, we're going to talk about how you can earn a significant passive income through purchasing one of our corporate income bonds. You're purchasing the bonds of a UK, a United Kingdom company. And then we invest into projects in Ukraine that include rebuilding apartments, rebuilding housing, healthcare, a variety of different industries. Uh, but before we go through all of that, I'm going to first uh, read a very brief legal disclaimer, and then I'll go through the presentation. Uh, first, as accredited investors, you will be aware that all investments carry some level of risk. This investment is only available to investors who are able to assess their own appetite for risk. Please read the risk statement within the investment memorandum before investing. All right, fantastic. So let's let's start. Okay, so Andesite Blue Bonds, how we are going to be helping with rebuilding Ukraine. Our bonds are paying between 7.15% all the way up to 8.85% passive income, mailbox money, and that is for a three-year or a five-year bond. And you can select which you prefer if you want the higher interest rate. And that's what we recommend. You can, you can get the bond that's payable at term. Or if you just want uh, to get the quarterly payments, you can do the three-year investment. And uh, the options are there. This is something that is uh, uh, very interesting as an opportunity. So... Our emerging market reconstruction and industry bonds, you will be earning 7.15% to 8.85% interest. And with these bonds, uh, you will be uh, helping to fund important projects such as surgical clinics, healthcare, dental clinics, agriculture, real estate, a lot of reconstruction, and we'll talk about the reconstruction in a few slides. These are not actually UK government bonds. These are United Kingdom government bonds. So you're purchasing the bonds of a United Kingdom company, and you earn that interest. But then we invest into different projects in Ukraine. We fund different projects. Let's talk about the Andesite Blue team that will be working for you. We have such a great team with over 250 years of business experience, including operating in more than 20 new emerging and developing markets. Our team members have been involved with managing banks, billions of dollars in projects worldwide, along with representing one of the largest international investment firms in the US. Um, I'm gonna briefly mention each team member, just a, a quick highlight. And then on our website, I encourage you to go to our website, www.andesiteblue.co.uk, and you can click on the team page and you can get the full bios there. So let's start with our chairman of the board of directors, Nigel Brigden. He is a UK citizen. He is a highly qualified and experienced banker with an in-depth understanding of all aspects of banking that he has gained during a career lasting more than 40 years. He also has excellent contacts throughout the city of London. Our international investment coordinator, Christina Katrakis, she is a highly experienced business and investment political coordinator. Her career uh, in, involves multiple, new, a number of multi million dollar projects worldwide, and she is such an asset to our team. We have Tetiana Kiltika, she is our corporate secretary. She's also a businesswoman in her own right. Uh, she uh, has uh, she founded a UK company. She's a she's a Ukrainian citizen, but she's also a, a UK citizen. Uh, she founded a UK company that is focused on the recruitment from abroad for work opportunities for Ukrainians in the UK. And uh, you know she's she lives in London. She's she's great to have with our with our team. We have 
Stephen Dybal, he's our senior operations management. He brings a lifetime of experience working in emerging markets. He has four decades of experience. He's worked all the way as a chemist up to a regional operations manager. And in another slide, we'll go into a bit more of a detail about him. We have Mike Wilson. He's an American citizen. He's a founder of Andesite Blue. He uh, has... Um, a lot of business experience. He's uh, He has worked at some companies that are large companies such as Panasonic, Brother, and AT&T, which really developed and refined his abilities. Uh, he has a, a lot of experience uh, working with clients and, and making sure that all stakeholders benefit. As far as myself, I'm also an American. Uh, I have a strong background in real estate, commercial real estate projects in the United States, and uh, I also have been active in uh, uh, business acquisitions, just different uh, uh, deals all over. Uh, we have, I want to draw attention to Vasil Mildnik. He's a Ukrainian citizen, but he is on our business development team, and he has experience with the management of public and private institutions in Ukraine. He actually was a director in the Ministry of Finance with the government of Ukraine. Uh, he was elected from the Vitaly Klitschko bloc, and uh, his professional and business experience is just invaluable to what we are doing here. Uh, it, we have also Anatoly Landman. Uh, he's on our business development team. He's also a Ukrainian citizen. And if any of you have, he's a businessman, if any of you have been to Kiev, Ukraine, and gone to the metro there, the initial implementation of that project, Anatoly Landman was involved with planning it out and organizing it so that the so that there was internet in the in the metro in Kiev. We have Dr. Mark Hong. He is our chief medical officer. He's our he's an oral surgeon. Uh, he has uh, uh, extensive experience in the medical field. He's He was born in South Korea. He migrated to the U.S. as a young boy. Uh, after medical school and residency, he became a doctor in 1999, and he has practiced in the United States, and he's also worked in the United Kingdom. We have Andrew Richings. Andrew Richings is a U.K. citizen. He's the founder of Thomas Kelly Holdings, which is a boutique private consultancy firm, uh, the primary focus of which is private equity and fixed income bonds for ultra high net worth and high net worth and sophisticated investors. He brings so much to the team and he helps us. OK, so let's talk about the opportunities that have come out of this uh, tragedy of this war. Uh, the government of Ukraine uh, has implemented a twinning reconstruction initiative. This initiative is where countries take patronage over cities and regions. So the, the, the twinning investment programs, it is designed when private investors from a certain country aim to finance specific projects in damaged cities with the support of their governments through peer-to-peer -peer schemes. So for example, the United Kingdom uh, has patronage over Kiev, Sweden has patronage over Mikolaev, and the Republic of I Ireland has patronage over Rivni Oblast. It is such a great program. Okay, so here, earlier this month, Ukraine's uh, Deputy Minister Alexander Grieben, he told delegates at the Ukraine Infrastructure Forum in London that the that Ukraine would become one of the best in the world in terms of investment opportunities. That photo there showing a tank was uh, after Bucha was liberated, and Bucha is where so many of the war crimes occurred. Uh, and the reconstruction is so so important, and these. Andesite blue reconstruction bonds are going to be helping with that, helping to rebuild. Every member of Andesite blue has a desire to, to help Ukraine. We want to help with the rebuilding. The majority of the members of Andesite blue have also donated money personally to, to help, with, uh, help with the rebuilding of Ukraine. But this is something that requires a larger scale and that is where these high paying corporate income reconstruction bonds come in, where you can help 
with these projects and earn a significant passive income. So let's go through three reasons to invest in Ukraine now. And uh, rather than me telling you, I'm going to have Ukraine Invest Chairman Daniel Bilak go through the three reasons to invest in Ukraine. It was a real honor for uh, Ukraine Invest to uh, sponsor Ukraine House Davos this year because there were a number of key things that came away from, uh, from that uh, engagement. There's three basic reasons that were, that were stipulated. We had Sir Suma Chakrabarty, president of the EBRD, basically said that because of the government's reforms, Ukraine is open for business. I think that was a very key message for everybody uh, to hear. The second message that we got was from uh, business itself, uh, major companies that basically said, look, Ukraine, because of the reforms that the government has undertaken, is now a stable, predictable, emerging market. We can wrap our heads around the risk reward ratio and we can make money. And the third uh, takeaway was that uh, it was given to us by Horizon Capital uh, that had just set up a $200 million private equity fund for investment into Ukrainian small cap companies, uh, saying that Ukraine has highly valued uh, assets that are underpriced and that this was another fantastic opportunity that, uh, to catch Ukraine on the way up as the, as the economy continues to grow. That is so true. Now is an opportunity to catch Ukraine on the way up. So let's uh, let's hear from Stephen Dyball, who is our senior operations management with Andesite Blue. I have a short clip here, and it's an interview with uh, Steve Dyball and Mike Wilson with Andesite Blue, where they're talking about their experience in emerging markets. I've sort of a long history in the manufacturing industry, uh, engineering, chemistry, uh, either running chemical manufacturing plants or building them. Um, so in the early days of my life was very much in the man pure manufacturing, but building, building plants, building plants constantly. And so as life went on, um, I seem to have a switch from being just involved in the manufacturing to actually being involved with the design mm -hmm. and the building. Um, life has taken me around the world uh, somewhat. I left, I'm from the UK, uh, but uh, left and uh, moved to Australia. Um, there, again, building plants, but not only building plants, we had a lot of plants that needed uh, improved the efficiencies were poor and uh, this was when we really fantastic and and uh, he brings so much experience to the team and that's going to be critical to us in the reconstruction project so that is that is just years. excellent so now let's uh let's talk about uh some the andesite blue bonds how can they pay so much money we have been asked this question uh, and and I've got here uh, a, a chart that actually shows uh, a comparison. Andesite blue bonds, our highest paying bond pays out 8.85%. And that's the one that we recommend if you are looking for the highest return, it's the five year. Uh, if you compare that to the S&P 500 index, which pays only 5.43%, but let me point something out. This data was actually compiled from a combination of things. Vanguard is based on data from JP Morgan, Bloomberg, MSCI, Russell, and the Standard & Poor's. And if you were to look at, say, global equity or U.S. bonds, they're under 5%, and global bonds also under 5%. So how is it that Andesite Blue is able to pay so much? Great question, great question. So this is really the advantage of investing in emerging markets. Uh, each of our projects, be that a real estate project, reconstruction project, be that an agricultural project, an energy project, maybe a medical project, IT, whatever it may be, provides the highest growth returns for our investments. This allows us to offer better rates for our bond investors. And another big, big difference with Andesite Blue is 
we also are not paying fees to fund managers. I mean, I'm sure some of you have talked to the private equity guys and the hedge fund guys. And, you know, I'm friends with a lot of those guys and they just love their fees. I'm not saying they don't deserve their fees, but I'm telling you that if you invest by purchasing an andesite blue bond, your money is not going to pay fees. We invest into projects as a secured lender, and then we closely monitor the project pro progress. The Andesite Blue team ensures our assets are performing, and we don't outsource that to someone else. And that is a big component of how we can pay so much on our bonds. Now, another question that we have also been asked is, you know, if the inflation in, say, the UK, is around 10%, why would I buy a 7.15% to an 8.85% bond? Well, good question. First of all, because with andesite blue bonds, the assets backing the bonds you are secured by hard assets. And that is a lesson that many investors have learned uh, when they invested in things that were not secured by hard assets. At andesite blue, we use what we call the gold standard, where we are only making loans at, for example, 70% of the appraised value. And we do that to make sure there is a margin of safety on our loans. And consider this part of your portfolio, just as you would hold rainy day funds in a deposit account that might only pay 2% or 3% or maybe even 4% for liquidity, this is a step towards keeping up with inflation. Incidentally, just so you know, inflation is forecast to come down in the next 12 months. So short of winning the lottery or placing funds into some sort of a high frequency trading, high risk, high reward gamble, uh, this is a much more sensible and effective way of investing as a hedge against inflation and market volatility. That is another huge advantage of the andesite blue bonds is our bonds are not volatile. Our bonds are not volatile like a publicly traded bond where the price will swing up and down based on what sort of a newspaper story comes out in the Financial Times. This is something where you can lock in that good, solid, high rate of return, and then inflation rates, they're projected to go down. But even in the scenario here, you're still way ahead of the one that makes the dangerous mistake of gambling for that higher return where they try a private equity deal. You know, folks, one third of private equity, they lose money. One third of them break even. And the remaining third might actually make a profit. I don't like those odds. I do not like those odds. And I, I encourage you to think seriously about if getting a real rate of return like this, where you're getting something that's a solid rate of return makes more sense for your portfolio instead of gambling. You know, I feel so badly for all these people that bought these cryptocurrency things where they all think they know what's going to happen. And boy, you know, they get burned on that stove. And I hate it. I really hate that for them. But that's not going to happen here with our andesite blue bonds because we are making loans based on solid collateral. So now let's uh, let's have a let's let's uh, go to the next slide. And in this slide, we're going to hear from Mike Wilson, and he is speaking with Svetlana Kiljuk, uh, and she is the president of the company Ukraine Nua. Ukraine Nua is such a great company; they are amazing. They are actually doing a lot of work to uh, reconstruct Ukraine. They have such incredible. Uh, projects and they're they're a really first rate company and we uh, we are working with them. You know we looked at a lot of companies and we made the decision that Ukraine knew was one we wanted to work with. So I'm going to play a clip here where you can hear about one of the projects. Provide uh, humanitarian help yes. to Ukraine. It is very big help to us, especially now mm -hmm. when many people without roof. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, refugees in other countries. Sorry, I can't speak. I, I will cry. Now. No, sorry. Okay, so no, and well, I'll get into that in more details later. But the um, there, like you said, the services, the lawyer services, and the mm -hmm. accounting services. They're also you're you're also looking to um, produce 
job opportunities for Ukrainians when they come back. So because they, they've lost a lot of their jobs, they're not working. There's a lot of companies that have been closed down. And so people are without income. And so we're not just looking to build houses. Uh, you're also looking to uh, produce uh, uh, communities and environments where people will have work to uh, be provided um, and sources of income and things to rebuild and get their lives back. Uh, yes, and uh, who will who will build it? It will build Ukrainian people. Yes, uh, they they will have their job and they will have their salaries for uh, life yes. to continue their happy life in Ukraine, in new community. It will be modern com community mm -hmm. with lastest uh, technologies uh -huh. and um, everything. We are working very hard with. Uh, green energy mm -hmm, in yeah. our communities and it will be very high quality communities we are uh, our our dream to build uh, communities of future it must work not one two years uh, 10 years or 20 we are uh, looking for about 100 years Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you want it to be sustainab will, sustainable, sustainable and you know sustainable so yeah. modular mm -hmm. communities yeah. yes it will be very strong very um, very modernization with lastest technologies the other uh, thing and you touched on it just a little bit now which is exciting is that it is ukrainians jobs it's actually not just the uh, fabrication of the homes on the prefabrication of the homes and the modulars because that will be done in a factory and that's so we'll have Ukrainian uh, factory workers will have employment through that, but you're also creating jobs on those in the inside those communities and we're creating businesses inside those communities so that it's and it's all Ukrainian so we're actually producing the economy that uh, this is sustainable. Uh, yes, and uh, now we are uh, 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 modular uh, modular. Um, uh, manufacture, mm -hmm. man, manufacture, manufacturing, home, manufacturing uh, home, uh, homes company uh, speaking with us now. Uh, they would like to se set up uh, their manufacturing uh, inside uh, Ukraine. Fa facility mm -hmm. in Ukraine in Rivne. Okay. Uh, it will be also it will be very big uh, interest industry. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be easier to get. Materials, materials and for building uh, these modular uh, communities, and also there will be also jobs for our Ukrainian yes, people. Yes, yes. So let me take a little moment here, and I want to explain to the audience real quick uh, um, what we're talking about and how this works. The the it's a building of homes. Okay, that sounds like it's just just construction, construction workers and men working their hands. Well, in the in a, in the pre pre manufactured homes and the modular homes. You do have a, a plant, a factory that uh, has all of the material and everything ready to start putting these homes together. Now, it's not cookie cutters. These are actual, they're better quality. They have better uh, efficiencies. They have better insulations. They retain heat better in the winter and they retain the coolness in the summer. Uh, so they're very strong and durable homes. And what's really great about it is, is that because it's in a factory, you can easily monitor the uh, quality control, which is very important because now you have quality control management that actually looks at each of the processes. So one one person he will have he will be in charge of one little area of of his job, of a certain part of the construction, and then each person has their own field. Well, they get better and better at it and more efficient. All the tools, all the the nails, the screws, the the wood, the uh, plastics and material, everything necessary, the insulation is all there and it goes down like building a car. It goes down an assembly line and builds it together. And then these homes are put together uh, so that, uh, you know, they will then be shipped by truck on location. And then so the, now the other part of the work will be the pre preparation of the foundations, whether it's a single dwelling home, single family dwelling home, or whether it's a multifamily and such as a high rise apartments. So these can be done in either way. The other really nice thing about these uh, homes is a design. They're not just boxes. Okay, they have a very good aesthetic look, exterior and interior. The interior is amazing. The neat thing about it is, is that you can actually pick and choose your what you want on the interior. 
So if you for and this is how we did it in America that we would go and say, oh, we like this home, we like this design, we like the the uh, footprint and everything that uh, and the plan and the and the structure of the plan. But we get to pick the, the faucets, we get to pick the uh, appliances, we get to pick what we want to, and how it looks, the carpet or you know flooring or however. So you can actually customize your own home even before it is uh, made. And then... Uh, that is that is really exciting, the uh, the project there with Ukraine, NOAA rebuilding uh, of these of these homes. So let's uh, let's also hear from Bradley Reed, who is with Ukraine NOAA, and uh, this is a conversation a little bit about his background, and it's with Mike Wilson with Andesite Blue. I'm just going to show a short clip, but this is a company that we're going to be working with uh, to rebuild in Ukraine. And introduce Bradley and uh, uh, Bradley. Thank you for coming. Uh, Thank you, and, Mike. Uh, Very you've nice been to be here, here a week now uh, been, from Ireland. Been here a week from from Ireland. Yes, County mm -hmm. Tipperary. Okay, so uh, would you do me a favor and just uh, tell our audience a little bit about you, your background, and um, and what you're doing? All right, I'm a I'm a media guy. Uh, okay, ostensibly started in the media in radio, television, motion pictures. Uh, I have built theme parks in China. I've uh, uh, created nightclubs in London. Uh, we've done national radio programs. Uh, so that's, but then I moved from media into renewable energy. So okay. I started to All get right. into waste to energy. So municipal solid waste mm -hmm. into, mm -hmm. into energy uh, and then solar solar energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, a few years ago, uh, we created a company here called Evagy which was all about doing rooftop solar in uh, oh. in Ukraine. Okay, all right. Because uh, we had a, a group uh, in uh, a company in the UK called Maximum Earth Group, and it was about becoming a micro utility built around rooftop solar for large commercial uh, and educational institutions. Now, when so, you say solar, there's two types of solar. You got thermal solar and you got uh, a UV light or light solar uh, for solar electricity. TV. PV, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So photovoltaic, uh, the panels go on the on the roof mm -hmm. uh, roof space of, of the factories uh, or of the schools. It's it's wasted real estate. There's nothing. Yes, up exactly. There. So exactly. You, you put the panels up top, and uh, then we sell the customers the energy, mm -hmm. and we can sell it to them at twenty percent reduction from the grid rate that they would be paying if they were buying their energy off the grid. Okay. Okay. We pay them a peppercorn rent uh, uh, of a pound just so that uh, we're, we're renting the, the roof space from them, sell them their energy. But we can also uh, lock in their energy rate. for. We're working on opening up the factory in Livna mm -hmm. because uh, Republic of Ireland has a, has a special relationship with uh, with Rivna, they we've been connected and, and uh, joined as sisters. You know, okay. And, okay. Uh, so we're looking at Rivna to build a factory. So, so that'll be the factory there. Yeah. The factory there. Then we'll bring the bring the the modular pieces to wherever it happens. Right. We're building the community, mm -hmm. and then uh, smack the houses together. They go together. the 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 whole process is a is a takes about sixty percent of the time of traditional build. Mm -hmm. So it can be faster. Yes. The houses are more airtight. They're they're, they're stronger. They're sound. more they're th more, they're thermally uh, you know more efficient uh, for hot and cold. They're they're just yeah tremendous. Plus and, they're upgraded uh, you know electronics look like upgraded outlets everything in there is just uh, and you're very high standard. So we can look five years in advance and say we think the technology will be pretty much there. Mm -hmm. So have five years future proofing. But if the walls are also panels that come off easy so that you can rewire when, when in you 10 add, years' time yes, yes. and then panel back on, mm -hmm. uh, then they're future-proofed for decades. Yes, and people yeah. can can you're not you're not seeing trunking and cable laying right. everywhere and all the mess. <laughs> yeah. They can be future proof yes. very easily. So all of this can happen with with the modular, with the modular. and then the modular community. So we we build uh, in fifteen house chunks. Mm -hmm. We'll put fifteen houses in and um, and a store, a little shop. Mm -hmm. And then the next phase, as soon as we've we've got enough we'll occupancy that, yes. in that, mm -hmm. we'll start the next phase, and that will have the kindergarten or the school. 
and right, then the right. next phase. And so we'll just start to put that uh, that lifestyle infrastructure in place as well as as these get mm -hmm. built out. So and then as the demand wanes, we know to start working on another area and that. That Correct. Yeah. When so you fill that area, yeah. it's an organic growth. It's not too large. We're not. We haven't got half the houses sitting empty. Well, and this and the neat thing about it, as you meant is the is the speed mm -hmm. of which this which this can be developed. You know, uh, instead of uh, you know two years, three years, four years, or five years for a master plan community, like I said, each phase uh, is prepared within months. Mm -hmm. You yes. know, of completion. It's going to be a gold rush. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we, that could sound tacky. There's going to be a gold rush. This is going to be the emerging economy. And this is where, especially living in here, you can feel that yes. growth and anticipation because everything is gearing up. We already have developers and builders already starting to rebuild in Bucha and, you know, these cities that have been, you know, in Trinity and, and uh, Brovery and stuff. And, and you know, uh, well, assuming, Harkip, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. It's a little bit far out, far out and it just... They, I mean, they haven't had a lot of activity there, but because they cleared the Russians out. But I mean, that was that's still pretty fresh, and I don't mm -hmm. know if their developers are quite in there yet. But um, but it it's is going happening. to, yeah, it is happening now, and so now is the time. The right, and so the, getting the investors lined up, we already have projects now that it's ready to invest in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that is really uh, fantastic. What's uh, what is planned there? So, okay, let's let's talk about actually some of the details on the bond. I want to cover some of the features and benefits for you, so it is more clear. The first feature of the bond is it allows you to reach your passive income goals more quickly. Uh, we offer an annual investment program where you can get on a plan with us where every year you can say, for example, you're gonna invest 100,000 pounds. And over a few years, particularly if you're a, a, a professional that is getting close to retirement age and you want to, you want to supplement your retirement, these andesite blue bonds meet that requirement because you can start out with some amount, be that, for example, 100,000 pounds, even 50,000 pounds, whatever you wanna do get on a multi-year investment program with us and we can, by using a bond ladder, we can help you reach your passive income goals more quickly. And we can work that out with you one-on-one -on -one based on what your goals are. We also offer maximum diversification. And what I mean by that is when you purchase an andesite blue bond, you are funding investments in a variety of industries, including healthcare, housing, agriculture, green energy, in the emerging market of Ukraine. So that is another big benefit. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't charge our investors any fees. We just don't believe in it. It's, our business model is very simple. We're gonna get you a good solid return that we know we can perform on. And then we're gonna invest into projects that allow us to pay that sort of a return. So it is something that is uh, very simple. And then we offer all sorts of flexibility on the interest payments. If you want to be paid quarterly, we can pay you quarterly. If you want to be paid annually, semi-annually, or upon maturity, whatever you are looking for, we can work with you on that. Okay, so how does the bond work? Well, it's very simple. Andesite Blue is a United Kingdom company, and we offer passive income bonds to high net worth individuals and institutions. The net proceeds of the bond are used to invest in Ukraine with projects that have been reviewed and passed all of our due diligence. Our local Ukrainian management company collects the rent and actually oversees management of the loan portfolio. So it is so simple, folks. Okay, so let's take an illustration of returns to make it even more clear. If you came in and you wanted to start out with something like, for example, 100,000 pounds and say you wanted to do a three-year bond, uh, you could earn between 7.15% to 8.15%. Let's just say you wanted the quarterly payments. In that case, you would earn 21,450 pounds in interest, and you would earn that over three years payable quarterly, and then you would get the 100,000 pounds back. Now, let's say you wanted the maximum. If you're the type of investor that wants the absolute highest return, then you're going to want to select the 60-month bond. That one offers the highest return. And uh, on that one, you're going to receive 8.85%. And you will purchase the bond. You invest 100,000 pounds. 
60 months later, you're going to receive 55,659 pounds in interest and your 100,000 pounds in principal back. So very simple product. We designed it that way. Why should I invest in the bond? Well, the, I believe that this is an investment that is suited to investors that are seeking an above average return on their investment. And if you're here listening to this webinar, you likely are seeking an above average return on investment. And that is something that we can help you with. Uh, if you want the security of a bond that is asset backed, that is something that is just critical, just critical. And fortunately, all of our Andesite Blue Bonds are asset backed. And if you're looking for passive income, these are good reasons to invest. How long term is the bond? It ranges from 36 to 60 months, but as a convenience, as a convenience for you, if you, the, we get to the end of the term and you want to renew as a courtesy and as a convenience for you, we will automatically renew it for a year. And that way, uh, if you don't want the money back right now and you're happy with everything, you can just let, let it keep working on an annual basis with us. And there's going to be many years ahead into the future where uh, there's lots of opportunities in Ukraine. So we can keep the money working for you a long time. But we structured the project product with a 36 to 60 month term. Can can you purchase the bond in your, your self-invested personal pension, your SIP? Well, uh, that is a question that is subject to the approval of your SIP provider. However, let me comment on that. I see no reason that your SIP provider wouldn't allow you to do that. And if your SIP provider has questions, they're welcome to contact us. Or if you have a situation where you feel like your SIP provider is not helping you, we know a lot of other SIP providers as well. Just give us a call. Um, what type of an investment is it? It is a corporate income bond. So very simple. It's not a government bond. Who can invest? Uh, in order to invest, you can, you need to be an individual who is over the age of 18. You can be a trust, a company. Uh, it could be a business. Even a charity can invest. Come one, come all. We welcome you to Andesite Blue. Uh, How's the tax managed? We make it simple. We just pay all the money to you. We don't take anything out. We just pay all of the interest to you. And then you and your tax professional can decide based on your marginal tax rate what you want to do on your taxes and how much tax you are going to pay. Uh, are there any limits on how much I can invest? Folks, there are no limits with Andesite Blue. Um, we suggest a minimum investment of 100,000 pounds, but if you want to start with something a little bit less than that, that is fine. We can work with you. Or if you are an institutional investor and you want to do a large placement, we absolutely can work with you. We can we can uh, go over everything in great detail to make sure that what you need is, is met with our Andesite Blue Bonds. Okay, so uh, final questions, and then I'm going to show a quick few projects, and then I'll open it up to questions. Um, can you get access to the money early? No, no, folks. This is not like day trading where you can just log into your brokerage account. And, oh, the stock went down. I'm going to sell it at a loss. No, it doesn't work that way. And by the way, that day trading, they've done studies that people do better if they just leave it alone and let the money work for them. Instead of moving all in and out, they get eaten up with fees. But you don't have to worry about that with Andesite Blue. Uh, we uh, we plan everything out where at the end of the term we pay you. Um, so how will you receive your interest? We pay it to the bank account that you nominate. Uh, how can you invest? It's so simple. It is so simple, folks. Just go to www.andesiteblue.co.uk, fill out the contact form, and one of our team will get in touch with you, and then we can either meet in person or we can do a Zoom presentation. We'll, we'll, we'll help you. We value your business, and we want to work with you. So very quickly, about one, less than a minute or so per project, I'm going to show a couple projects here just so you have some ideas of what we will be investing in. Okay, the, the first one is a really great project. This is by Ukraine Nua. It's Modular Communities Initiative, and this is uh, the phased creation of modular communities for returning Ukrainian refugees. It is so important, folks. Uh, this is something that uh, it is. It delivers a turnkey uh, in around 60% of the time uh, by the best traditional build methods. This is going to run about three to five million pounds per stage, and it is something that's going to provide all sorts of housing for returning Ukrainian refugees 
And that is wonderful. The production of dairy products. This is something that also is important, you know, the, the food industry. Uh, so it's a 7.6 million total investment. And uh, the, this is one that has a really great return on investment. So excellent project. We also have another project provided by Ukraine. It's export substitution for ethanol. And this is something that is remotely operated automatic modular ethanol distilleries. And, and it really increases the value of local crops through local processing to critical commodities. And uh, it's one that has about 10 million pounds in uh, capital expenditures per installation. And uh, it's gonna do a lot, of, a lot of good there. Okay, construction of a logistics center in Kiev, Ukraine. You know, logistics is just critical for a country. And this is a $34 million project and it's got, uh, uh, it's going to be the, uh, a logistics center in the Kiev region with about 70,000 square meters of space, warehouses, offices, and mezzanine space. Great project. Now, here's a really good one for reconstruction, the construction of a modern bricks factory. This is a project that's going to take $118 million, and uh, it's going to be able to increase the capacity to 120,000 bricks per year. So, uh, you know, there is such a need for bricks now with all the reconstruction that is necessary. It may not sound like a fancy tech company, but let me tell you, folks, this is a good, solid investment that also will do a lot to go to help rebuilding Ukraine because bricks are important. Not only bricks, but also ceramic blocks. Uh, we've got a project here that's 1.8 million. And this is one that's going to increase. It's the modernization of bricks and ceramic blocks production. Very good project. All right, so these are some examples. And if you would like to request any additional information, please reach out to us at www.andesiteblue.co.uk. Just fill out the contact form. Uh, thank you for coming to the webinar. And if you happen to see this on the internet, we hold these webinars every single Thursday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. And you can you can go to andesiteblue.co.uk, fill out the contact form, we'll send you an invitation, or you can find us on LinkedIn, just look for Andesite Blue, and then click on the company page and then the events. So, okay, that's it for the presentation, folks. Thank you again. I'm going to stop the recording and then I'll open it up for any questions if anyone has any questions.